Okay, we're just going to take a quick look through the People Hub and the Messaging Hub. Um, so the first thing you notice about the People Hub is I've, I've put a couple of groups in at the bottom there. Um, groups will literally group any you know work work colleagues or family. So th this one I've set up is my family here. So you get live tiles for all of your all of your family that you've got in here. Uh, they link to obviously to Facebook, etc. Um, you get the What's New feed. Uh, you get pictures that they share from from Windows Live or Facebook, so fairly standard stuff. Um, what you can also do is actually pin the group down to to a live tile on the actual start screen, so you get quick, easy access to that group and to call them, etc. Uh, if we go back to people, so you can set up multiple groups and pin those. Um, in terms of the search functionality, it's still still very very similar. Oops. So you tap on the A and you get get all the d different searches that you can do here. Um, still the What's New feed is still from Windows Live and from Facebook. Um, Twitter integration isn't quite there yet. You can add the actual account in. Uh, but what it will actually say is um, it's coming soon. So it looks like there's some sort of back-end service that needs to be enabled before that's uh, that's available. Let me just pop back to people. And uh, he's got the standard recent screen. So not not too much in the actual people hub that has, has changed apart from the the addition of those groups, which is which is a great addition. And um if we pop into the messaging hub, which sort of accompanies the uh people hub, uh, the first thing you'll notice is is it's literally listed by threads now. Um now threads will take messages from SMS uh, Facebook chat, Windows Live Messenger, um, and it will integrate them all into one one single thread. So, for example, if I, if if we had um, a chat with Vodafone going with Windows Live, um, I'll show you on a better example. We could uh, we could then switch, and switching would mean uh, we can go over to Facebook chat or to mobile, and if uh, Atif had Windows Live. Let's find someone who might. There we go. So we've got Facebook, Messenger, and then mobile at the top there. And you can switch between those, providing that the contact's online. So if Michael's on Facebook, I'd be I'd be texting him on Facebook. But instead, I think it will send... Okay, so it's, it's going to say that the recipient's offline, but it suggests for you to switch back to texting. So there we go, we can text him from there. So it's pretty powerful, keeps all the messages in one place. Um, the other thing is obviously that that has integrated messenger chat. Um, you can toggle your status here. And then you can see everyone who's online here. And you can chat to those people. Like so. And you can also send them pictures. So we just send this picture. And there you go, that, that should send a, a send request to their messenger client and transfer that off to them. Um, the other thing we've got is the ability to actually use speech to dictate your messages. Now this works on SMS and any of the threaded. Say your message. Hello, Michael. Mm. There we go. So it's just type that out for us there. Okay, and and one last part of the actual messenger integration here is you can also initiate multi-people uh, conversations. So, so we've got a, a, a chat with two people here. So that's quite a neat feature. Doesn't look like you can actually share any, you know, any uh, attachments in there, but, but you can chat to um, multiple people there. That's pretty much it for the messaging hub. Um, it, unfortunately, you still can't if we go back to Michael and switch to text I 
unfortunately I think you can only take you can only take pictures at the moment. So you still can't um MMS video at the moment. Which is which is disappointing, but um the other thing that's worth mentioning with the Winners Live uh, Messenger integration is if you go out of Signal, the any messages that you're, that you're like people that you're talking to, any messages that you receive, they will come down after you come back to Signal. Now the problem is um, if you go out of Signal and you, and you can come in and out of Signal regularly, um, then you're gonna gonna kind of annoy your contacts because it's gonna you're gonna constantly reconnect to the service, so they're gonna get that toast pop up on the desktop. Um I don't know whether Microsoft plan to address that in future releases, just so that it like somehow sits on on the messaging service seamlessly and, and then reconnects when in and out of signal. Um but that's worth noting for, for when you connect. So if you're in a particularly bad signal area then you will be dropping from the messenger service quite regularly. Okay so that pretty much rounds up um the messaging hub and the people hub overview. Um, stay tuned to WinRumors um, later in the week and the next instalment we'll be looking at is the actual phone and Outlook. Um, so stay tuned and we'll be posting that shortly.